You're watching 8-bit days a week and uh, this time I'm gonna be playing Mortal Kombat 3 if I remember right this is like one of the first titles released on the PlayStation but of course this is the arcade version and the bonus of that is that I should be able to morph into anyone with the Shang Tsung without any loading in fact there isn't any loading at all but you'll see that um, frame rate is not uh, the expected but it looks great and the speed is actually okay. I mean, it's very, very playable. Ugh, why do I keep missing that? And as a bonus, the control layout is mapped out correct. I mean, I haven't changed anything, but... Uh, plays how I remember the layout, the button layout is how I remember how the PlayStation port had. So your shoulder buttons are the block and run, the face buttons are exactly how I remember them. The square and triangle are the high attacks, X and circle are the low attacks. I don't reach. All right. The audio is kind of weak. I uh, I haven't really touched the volume of my TV or something. But uh, but it's not as loud as you'd want it to be, so you may have to raise the volume. But yeah, as I mentioned, the frame rate there, right there in the little l lower left corner may not be the number that you're looking for, but it is very playable and it's great actually. So this is definitely better than like putting on the PlayStation 1 uh, version on your PlayStation Classic. And it would also save you some space if you have a small thumb drive. You're just going to be missing those like options like uh, setting it to easy so you'll have to deal with the AI here exactly how it is in the arcade which is to say uh, they're actually ah.
I've always liked the cast of characters in uh, Mortal Kombat. They're um, diverse, at least. Except for the ninjas. Well, at least the ninjas had personality. They may be clones, but eventually they had their own uh, personality going. That's actually interesting. Except for that guy, isn't Striker like some sort of traffic enforcer? Just uh, one of the few fighters that was spared during Shao Kahn's attack. Uh, well, here's I guess where the cheap AI kicks in seemingly able to predict your every move and counter it it's especially worse on the second Mortal Kombat game Oh well, I guess that should be it for this video. This is Mortal Kombat 3, the arcade version, and it's running pretty good at um, the PlayStation Classic. And this is not like the PS1 port. And I suggest you, you know, if you're looking for your Mortal Kombat fix, you can load this thing instead. Alright, and you're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.